He's a 16 foot pocket cruiser. It's an O'Day Osprey from 1965. Trying to rehab her, bring her back to life. I think I'm gonna name her Couscous after a Cape Verdean dish. Here's where we are, day one. This was after giving her a bath. In a moment, we'll show you what she looked like before cleaning her up. Tiller still needs to be attached to the rudder. I picked her up on a local Craigslist ad. She hadn't been in the water in about a decade. The rigging needed to be replaced and she needed a good bath. In addition to some rehab. I took out the floorboards, got a manual pump. There she is. The mast is in pretty decent shape, except the spreader's broken. They tend to, they're kind of thin, so they tend to break um, right at the pin site. But I was able to order a new one from DNR Marine in Mass, so that'll be delivered soon. It was cheap too, maybe twenty-eight dollars for a brand new one, a little thicker than the old one. That's the where the the mast sits, the foot of the mast. It's right in there. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of water in there. It's a little bit of fiberglass work I need to do at the, just right there, there was a crack in the glass that needs to be addressed. And a crack here at the stern. We're gonna, we're gonna sand that down, open that up if there's any kind of rot in there which i don't think so it looks like it's probably hollow nothing draining through it um i'll epoxy it epoxy it glass it over it should be should be good there's the this and this is the old ice box with a drain for it but i've seen um people use it as an engine well a little clamp here for something we'll figure that out black post hardware looks pretty good most of it does this rock <laughs> was being used to cover the hole so we're gonna cover that up with something that's gonna keep water from getting in there but she needs a good bath a wax i gotta change the registration decals starboard side overall the hull is pretty solid fiberglass 1965 o'day osprey back then it was hand woven fiberglass so it's pretty st solid got to make a new tiller for the um rudder the rudder is in the garage here's the tiller that the gentleman provided i bought it from but it needs um Needs a point of connection to hook up to the to the rudder. So today, what we're gonna do? Give her a bath. I'm gonna pump out all of this water, and then see what she looks like. I'll try to, even though that spread is missing, I'm gonna try to step the mast to see what I'm missing in terms of hardware. Booms there. Looks like I got blocks for the boom. Yeah, I'll see. Uh, all right, I got new lines I ordered. I ordered new dock lines, fenders. I have safety gear, including uh, the flares. Goodness, losing my words, including flares, life jackets, first aid kit, all that good stuff you would need for safety gear. But yeah, she's pretty dirty right now. Let's get her cleaned up. Let's step the mast and see what's going on. Begin with a quick rinse off. First wash in 10 years, maybe. All right, Couscous is getting a bath. Let's see what's underneath all of this dirt. See what you look like for real. Rinse all this stuff off. Then we'll go ahead and use the scrub-a-dub-dub. Some elbow grease. Oh, the satisfaction in seeing things come back to life again.
Don't want the trailer feeling left out. Now she's starting to show her true colors. It's coming out nice and clean. What a beautiful looking vintage boat. I removed the mask, added some additional supports, and then raised her bow up a little bit more so that water would drain further aft. Yes, it was time to break out the power washer. Trying to be careful not to disturb the woodwork. Well, she's had her first bath, so now I'm gonna pump out um, the water that's in the bilge. Did buy a bilge pump. I haven't set it up yet. So we still need to work on that. Oh yeah, she was looking very pretty on the outside and on the inside. Thinking about how nice that woodwork's gonna look when I varnish it up. Sunfish was kind enough to hold the mast for us. But look at the halyard. She's in tough shape. It's very dry, brittle. So I'm gonna replace that. And this it looks like the one for the for the jib. And when I shake it, I don't know if you can see, but like it's flaking off. Look at how frayed. Well, the hardware is still there. This is the new halyard. I think it's going to be long enough to replace both. Now let's take a look at Couscous, how she looks. New chains for the, for the um, trailer. And this is after the bath. It's getting better. You need a coat, a little bit of sanding, a coat of primer and fresh paint is the inside which also needs sanding um, primer and fresh coat of paint yep and this does look like an ice box but i think i might hang my two and a half john honda outboard right here because it should fit in there just fine my pops came by to take a look at the old boat. He said, it's a nice looking little yacht. Pops is gonna be 88 in about a month and a half. He's crossed the ocean many times. It's been all over the world. My man got a front row seat to the job. All right, day one, here's what's accomplished. Washed the boat, cleaned her out, dried her out. Try to put up the um, rigging and Ran into some issues. So, the shroud on the starboard side is broken. That spread is broken. So, I have a replacement for the spreader. But this shroud, I just had a hard time trying to connect it. But it looks like there's a couple of wrinkles in the line. It's hard to tell. See the wrinkles? But even when I pull down on it and try to get some of those wrinkles out, I still can't get enough power. Even with my son pushing against the mast, can't get enough power to reconnect that. So if you look at the mast, it's not fully north to south. It does have a little lean, but that's because that side's not connected. So I think if I get a couple of mini turnbuckles, I can tighten it up. Although my suspicion is that I probably shouldn't even have to do that. Um, so we'll see. It, it, this boat hasn't been in the water for 10 years, and I'm just picking it up as the new owner. The inside came out pretty clean. Woodwork's going to need a little polishing, and sanding, and um, revarnish it. But after letting it dry out, because it was sitting in a lot of water, um, you can see the, the water line from the rain just above where the paint peeled off. So it sat in quite a bit of water. We dried her out. We'll get it painted, uh, but that'll be an over the winter project. It would be nice so I can get this rigging squared away. I gotta figure out how to run the main sheets, 
how to how to set up these turnbuckles so this is all temporarily rigged as far as the boom goes if i could get the get the sails up get that boom squared away get those turnbuckles squared away then that would be great if you have any suggestions or thoughts let me know here we are day one she does look better we did make some progress but i was hoping to get the um rigging up and the sails up pops was here i wanted to show him he likes it he said it's a nice little yacht nice little yacht you can do quite a bit of, with it so let me know what you think so why those green straps since there's no backstay <laughs> probably doesn't need to be one once we get those turnbuckles squared away on off the boom i think that that'll keep the mass from going forward um i don't think this model comes with a backstay if i am wrong please let me know but in the meantime i put those straps on there just so that the mass doesn't fall forward while i'm trying to figure out this rigging that's how she would look with the rudder on she's 16 feet with the rudder well we put her to bed and i'm calling it a day a day for the old day might make a nice boom tent when i'm out there sailing anchored out after a trip at the lake hope you enjoyed this little video please like and subscribe